Sumter Today is presented by USC Sumter, Sumter Tourism, and McLeod House. So, uh, Stone Saban, I'm the director of the Dallas Tech Classic, man. Here in Sumter, South Carolina, at Sumter High School, and uh, so our tenth Diamond Stats Classic, and uh, you know, started out, you know, very organic in, in, a, in a moment in which we were all just kind of looking for, uh, we looked for love and just for unity at that point. You know, our, our classmate, our teammate Eric, our White passed away uh, Memorial Weekend, 2015, and so we were all young, just kind of students mourning. I remember we was crying and. and we was just wall to wall at his house, just kind of figuring out what we was going to do next. The game is bigger than us. It's like, it's being able to celebrate his life, uh, you know, through basketball. Because, man, it's not only is a basketball game, but we, we had his homegoing service here as well. So it's just bigger for us. It's a wraparound. So, you know, um, you know, his mom was one of the main reasons uh, why we continue to do this. And she comes to the tournament every year. You know what I mean? And so for us to be able to put her son on that platform um, and for youth that never even met Eric to be like, man, he must have been a good dude based off of what we're doing, you know, said a lot. The summer in Sumter is interesting already, you know, and it's not a lot of youth engagement. It's not activities for, for people under 35, honestly. You no, know, and so for us, we want to just set the temperature, set the tempo of, of, uh, of the summer, to be quite honest. You know, so us being able to pull these guys out of their close quarters and get them here at some high, where some people we won't see the, all, the entire year to the Diamond Stats classes. So it's kind of like a reunion type of vibe as well, man. You know, and so, you know, all the proceeds go to our mentor leadership program, you know, which is important for us. One weekend here, one good weekend here, man, um, sustains our program for six to seven months. You know what I mean? So the donations, the players plan, all those things, we're able to feed our youth, take them to engagements, bring in other mentors into the community. And so it's all about access, man, and, and creating a network. I just want to shout out to the, the donors, something the district for continuing to support us as a community, the players, but also, you know, the youth, man, like, you know, the Kane's Empowerment Program is something that we've been putting together. It's a grant that we have uh, for black and brown communities. Talking about consent, um, talking about um, this positive reproductive health, you know, talking about things that my community doesn't have the opportunity or space to talk about. So we'll be supporting these kids. Um, you'll see some cohorts going through. So like I said, man, this is just like the figurehead to what else we do in the community, man. So, you know, uh, we hope to continue to do this here at Southern High School, bro. We don't always know what lies ahead or what life has in store for us. How can we be stronger today than we were yesterday? So much depends on the ways we care, those we help, the ways we give back. And where healthcare is concerned, knowing that the farther we go, the closer we remain to home. McLeod Health, well ahead.